Hey there, welcome to Threadhead. This week we're hanging out in San Francisco at Thread, the independent fashion bazaar. I'm Alex Matthews and I'm director of the Thread Show in San Francisco. Thread is basically a showcase of independent fashion designers. 90% of the brands here today are from San Francisco. So we kind of take them when they're in their garages and screen printing t-shirts in their friends' houses to like being stocked in, you know, bigger stores and hopefully we, you know, make a difference. What do you think? This is it. <laughs> Rachel and this is Danger Peach Design. So what do you specialize in? Um, I use a lot of vintage materials. I like uh, rock and roll style, I like ties, I like guitar picks, anything that I can remake into something new my way. The cuffs were the first thing I made, yeah. Playing with vintage ties, just love the materials, love the colors, the 70s, like really great polyester ties. Um, I started making clutches out of them as well, iPod holders, cell phones, cameras. <laughs> Hey, I'm Erica with Alter Ego Jewelry. It's just about expressing yourself with fun stuff, bringing back your childhood. I started with babysitting. We were playing with toy cars and making bracelets and necklaces. They were really popular and I went down to LA and I got three stores. Um, I brought about 500 car bracelets down. In less than a month, they all sold out. But my favorite is My Little Pony. This is my favorite. Hey, como esta, Bella? My name is Merlin Castell and I'm a clothing designer for Los Angeles. My concept is more European and that's why it's more conservative, it's retro, futuristic and that's, that's a good target and it's going really well, so I like it. So one of the most important things that we're going to talk about today is the next step. What do you do after you have the big idea that you want to become a fashion designer? We went around and spoke to a couple people and got some advice. The advice that I would give to designers is Make sure you've got a backstory to your line, have a sales story, have a reason to you know, be a clothing line. I mean, anyone can print a graphic on a t-shirt. The second thing I would say is make sure you've got a good sales rep, uh, somebody who's prepared to go out and knock on doors. Thirdly, I'd say you need to select uh, a good trade show, show at one of those events to put yourself on the radar. Yeah, you gotta take an idea, and that's what we had and you really have to put 100% of your effort, 110% of your time into it because it's not going to happen, no one's going to give it to you. You got to go get your own. So do you have any words of inspiration for all the youngsters out there that want to start their own business? Just try it. Pick something up, sew it, staple it, do whatever you got to do to make it happen. It's really fun. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. Ah, uh, that was so deep. Fellas, I'm ready to get up and do my thing. Like some kind of mechanized device built for copulation with a lady. What? I really don't like this jean. It's way too baggy. Look. That's why I'm going to make it tighter. Now I've put it on inside out. Now you have to pin it. <laughs> okay, now you just have to sew around it. <laughs> Finished. Yay. <laughs> Whoa, did you see her sewing machine? For more on the skinny, check out Under Pressure's Skinny Jeans tutorial posted in the tutorial section of the forums. Speaking of the forums, this week was all about inspiration. Mama Sass and Nadnook used elements from the crochet jewelry episode, featuring Alicia from Unico Creations. Mama Sass made a beautiful necklace for her mom, and Nadnook used the yo-yo stitch to create an awesome purse handle for her sister's birthday present. Zombie got inspired by In the Neck of Time, a blog post on Threadbanger's main site, and made this awesome hoodie scarf. And April Pie used the t-shirt ventilation episode to create these sweet sleep appliques.
Next week on Threadheads, we explore some of San Francisco's coolest DIY shops, plus get a tutorial from a local designer. And be sure to check back next Wednesday, October 1st, for the first ever episode of Halloweeny Wednesdays. Fairy wings, anyone? Until then, see ya!